What's up guys, welcome back to the video on my channel. Now as new season starts very very soon, Sonic Home was at home. Um I thought it's time to be my first video of the new season. As today I'll be interviewing John Sedd and Brendan Kieran at a new season, uh how they found pre season at town and uh, their past uh, career. But anyway, before this video starts, uh, massive thank you for all the support last year. I enjoyed it last last year last year was incredible. Enjoy enjoyed bringing it to you guys. I'm looking forward to this season. So don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn notifications on. Don't miss every time I put upload a video. But anyway, on with the video. Right, guys. So Harry at Towns, new signing John Stead. You played four different clubs in your career. Which one? Which one have you most enjoyed playing for, and why? Um. Well, that's a tough question. Uh, I think I've enjoyed little bits of every club I've been at. There's not been many where I've had, um, you know, a terrible time or I've been uh, I've been uncomfortable where I've been. I think probably out of, out of the lot, I'd probably pick maybe Blackburn Rovers or, or Sheffield United. I think those two stand out um, off the top of my head. But like I say, I've had, I've had a great time at every club I've been at. In 2015, played in, in playing one of the biggest FA Cup upsets, in my opinion, for Bradford City, where you beat Chelsea 4-2 away. What was it like scoring at the time for Bridge? Uh, well, it was, it was incredible. Um, the whole the whole day was was pretty special. Um, you know, not just to score, but to, to go and, and win in the fashion that we did um, against the, you know such a strong side. It was a, a massive occasion for the club and and all the support that travelled down and and everybody had a great day. So it really st stands out as one of my highlights, obviously in my career as well. You were feeling down in that game before all the drama happened. What's going through your head when Chelsea got the second goal? Um, I think we just keep the score down, um, don't get absolutely destroyed, I think that was kind of the, the mentality then because they were two sloppy goals and poor on our part, they weren't really goals where we'd been cut, cut open and, and destroyed so um, yeah to get the goal just before half time was crucial and then obviously it changes the team talk a little bit at half time. You scored 14 goals in the Premier League, is scoring in the best league in the world any different to scoring in the in non league for example? Um, uh, no, I don't think it is. I think you know, goals are goals, and and you have that same that feeling and that buzz when you score um, at any level. I've I found that throughout my career. Um, the ones at the top are possibly a little bit more special because of the opposition you're against. But um, you know that that feeling, that hunger to score goals, doesn't change no matter what league. Yeah, you played with Blackburn Rovers when you were in the Premier League. What was that playing for them? Uh, brilliant, because I, I went from Huddersfield, um, which was the old. Um, Division three at that time, and, and jumped straight to the Premier League um, to go into my debut and, and score on my debut away at Middlesbrough. It was fantastic, and, and I enjoyed you know, a really good end to the season there, scoring against uh, well, scoring some important goals that ended up keeping us in the Premier League. So it was um, you know a really magical time for me. What's the best goal you scored in your career, and why? It's a tough one. Um, I think probably the goal at Chelsea. I think just because um, the kind of magnitude of the game, uh, the task we were up against, the timing of the goal just before, um, just before half time, um, on my left foot as well. Um, I think yeah, I think probably that one, either that one or um, scoring the winner against Manchester United when I was at Blackburn, which was obviously another big um, <coughs> kind of part of my career. Um, so yeah, one of those two. You were in eleven caps for England under twenty ones. What was it like playing for your country? A massive honour, obviously. Um, we had some fantastic players coming through at that time. Um, some some real real good talent that some went on to to fulfil that, and, and and some didn't. But um, yeah, to, to wear an England shirt and, and represent your country at any level is, is a, you know a real big thing. Did you ever get goosebumps when you listened to national anthem for the game? Yeah, every time. Yeah, it was um, yeah obviously special. You know, you get that that nerves and that anxious. Um, that's that you get before every game because you're excited and you and you're ready for what's coming. But I think that extra bit of the anthem before uh, is a bit like the icing on the cake, really. Uh, why have you joined Harrogate Town? Um, a few reasons, really. One, they were really keen to sign me, obviously, which which helps. Um, the where the club is um, is close for me, travelling from Huddersfield, so it fits in with my with my schedule, with with my family life and my children. Um, and the ambition of the club really that's that's what sold it to me in the end the, the manager and, and Thurls you know they're, they're really positive about where they want to take the club they've been making massive steps forward in the last well the last 10 years really it's been a, a real a real progress and a real building um, block for everybody around the club and you know it's, it's a nice I can already tell and he have been here three or four weeks it's a nice 
close family run um, football club where everybody chips in and, and, and helps each other out so that's something that I like to be involved in. Last season you played for Notts County, what has it been like playing against a former club? Yeah it'll be a bit strange but you know like we said earlier I've played for quite a few clubs so you know playing against my old teams comes around um, quite often uh, or it has done throughout my career so um, I try to keep the games as, as, um, as normal as I can do really. How's pre-season been? It's been good, it's been tough, um, it's been hard work like they all are, um, but it's been, uh, it's been you know, relatively similar to, to other clubs that I've been at. Um, the lads are really fit, I think that's one thing I've noticed straight away, even from the first day back pre-season, the, the, the players that are, that are here and the lads that have come in, um, along with myself, have you know, a, a very good level of fitness and it's just been topping up on that really and, and getting us all to, to bond together as a group. What is one thing the fans should expect from you and the team from the season ahead? Uh, for me, uh, hard work. I think that's something I've built my career on. Um, you know, 100% every game. I'll, I'll give that um, no matter how I'm playing. Um, hopefully, some goals. And I think as as a group, we want to improve obviously on last season and the season before, and keep moving that momentum forward and and keep progressing. And if we can finish, you know, higher than we did last season. And give ourselves a bit of a better chance in the in the playoffs or the automatic place, and then we'll do that. What is your go-to meal before and after a game? Meal. Yeah. Um, well, the night before, I normally have spaghetti bolognese. But my wife does a, a mean spaghetti bolognese, so we normally have that on a Friday. And then my pre-match meal can be can be anything really. I kind of change it up. Can be pasta, scrambled egg, chicken, little bits of everything really. And then afterwards, if it's a Saturday night. Can't be a good curry on a Saturday night after after a tough game, so it's normally a takeaway for us uh, and for me, and my wife, and the, and the kids. Is there any difference from playing in the Premier League to the to, to non league? Um, there's difference. There, there are differences. Yeah, there's differences in the opposition. Um, I think probably one the main one, and I think that's not just in non league. I think from dropping down from the, the, the Premier League, I think probably the lower down you get your mistakes get punished less and less. I think when you're at the top in the top flight, if you make one mistake, it gets punished and it normally results in a goal. Um, so I think probably that, maybe there's, there's, a, there's a few more mistakes around players around you and, and, um, and by teams. So I think that's probably the main difference that, that I'll find. Um, you've played in the Premier League. What's the best ground you've ever played at? Uh, the best ground I've ever played at? Um, for... Atmosphere um, was either Anfield or Arsenal's old stadium, Highbury. Um, I played against them during their invincible year. Uh, they beat us, I think they beat us 4 0. Um, but it was a fantastic um, atmosphere with the likes of Perez and Henri. Um, you know, the, the crowd are really tight onto the, onto the pitch, so you feel like they're really around you. Um, and the atmosphere was, was electric, and it, it just didn't help that we were playing against a team that um, nobody could beat. Now one last thing is, uh, I know someone quite close to me who is a massive Blackburn fan, okay. and a big fan of yours, could, so can you sign, sign this programme? Of course I can. What's Matt. his name? Matt. Matt. So Matt, next time I see you, this is for you. Double T? Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Thank you and good luck for the season ahead. Thanks very much. Cheers. Right, guys, here another Harriet Town signing, Brendan Kieran. Why have you joined Harriet Town? Joined Harrogate to come and enjoy the football that I saw the boys play last year um, and hopefully go one better than last season. So, yeah, winning. Um, you played for Fulham at a young age. Uh, what was it like playing there? Yeah, good. I was only there for a little bit um, before moving to Palace, but again, it was good. Um, good setup, uh, loads of good, good boys. Um, yeah, just good to be involved in that kind of set up at such a young age, so it was, yeah, enjoyable. You played for 10 teams when you were, were in your career, which club has been your favourite to play for and why? Um, good question. Probably Palace, just because at that age group um, we had some talented players who are doing well in the game now, and also just enjoyable, I think. I was in school at that time, and after coming out of school it was good to just, you know, improve my game at that, at that level. How has pre-season been so far? Brilliant, it's been good. It's been hard, I should say, first. Hard, like lots of running. Um, but it's been, again, like getting to know all the boys has been good, like welcomed me in really well. And yeah, I've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed working hard for the last three, three and a half, four weeks, yeah. So you just joined town recently. Out of all the players, who is the class clown? Class clown? Uh, <laughs> um, 
Who's a Clark fan? I'd say probably most of the boys might say as well. Leasley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. He's he's banter. He's um, he's lively. He's lively. But a good again another good guy. He's welcoming in. Yeah. Uh, what is it like joining a new team and meeting new teammates? Yeah. Um, I didn't really know what to expect. Like coming from you know London, but um, again moving up here, it's just been I've settled in quite quickly. So. Uh, I think that's down to the boys just welcoming into the changing room. Um, there's been quite a few new boys. I think there's seven of us all together. Um, so us coming in at the same time has made it easier because we're all getting to know the boys at the same time. So um, yeah, it's been nice. It's been good. Why have you chosen number 14? Um, I chose number 14 because when I, I'm an Arsenal supporter. <laughs> when I was younger, I watched a lot of Thierry Henry. But, um, but also, um, yeah, it's always been a number that I've, I've liked that... that um, yeah, just from that, just from watching the colours. Nah, yeah. What are your thoughts on Arsenal? What are your thoughts on Arsenal's last couple of seasons? Yeah, I'd rather not talk about it. It's turning <laughs> off now. Um, no, nah, yeah, they've done all right. I think um, it's going to be a rebuilding process with a new manager, and then hopefully we can start challenging. <laughs> but it might take a while, so I'll just keep my head down and <laughs> for a couple of seasons. What do you like to do in your free time? A lot of music, listening to music. Um, yeah, just catching up with my mates. Um, and yeah, any anything. I love a good movie as well. So hopefully, I might be off to see Lion King tonight. We'll see how that goes. What is your favorite movie? Favorite movie. Um, I do like. There's different styles. I, I, I was surprised by Sherlock Holmes. I thought that was alright. Um, Space Jam is an all-time classic. You can't go wrong with Space Jam. So yeah. Um, what is your pre-match routine? Uh, pre-match routine is just get as relaxed as possible. Um, get into the zone where I'm thinking about enjoying the game, doing my job, so nothing really specific, just um, I like to make sure everything's quite tight, so boots are tight, um, everything feels quite snug, so I'm able to just do things, you know, at a high tempo. You're in a zombie apocalypse and you can only choose one teammate to, to fight and survive with, who would it be and why? One teammate, um, probably Becky, because he'll get his arms <laughs> up and just like, kill some of the zombies, yeah, 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 so... That's probably it. Um, what is one bit of advice you'd give anyone trying to get to, trying to make football a job? Anyone trying to? Um, I'd say I've said it before. Actually, work out what you're good at. Like work out what your strengths are, and just try and play to your strengths as much as possible. Um, and then hopefully, like you can make a job out of that. Um, what is one thing the fans should expect from you? Um, desire to win, hard work, um, and yeah, trying to make things happen in the final third. I think that's what I'm known for, just um, in and around the box making things happen, so, yeah. Who was your football idol? Football idol, I had a few when I was younger. I had Michael Owen, when he was, weirdly, as a Liverpool player, but he had some show on BBC when I was younger and I loved watching it. Thierry Henry, being, grew up right next to the Emirates. Um, and the old Ronaldo, the uh, Brazilian Ronaldo, he was just, just a joy. Even watching him on YouTube now, it's just, yeah, joy to watch. Thank you and good luck for the season. Appreciate it, mate. Thank you. I'm still trying to work out if Brendan Kieran to score that goal. Anyway, that's it from me. Do you drop a like on it, subscribe to my channel, comment below if you want me to do like uh, any more videos this year and like what players I should interview next. But anyway, looking forward to the new season and I'll see you next Tuesday for Barrow Away. Come on, town. Gotta let them know I'm uncontrollable.